Magsiluhod ang lahat. Panalangin para sa pambansa at panglokal na halalan. Manalangin tayo upang sa papalapit na pambansa at panglokal na halalan ay tunay na maghari ang kalooban ng Diyos na siyang gumagabay sa lahat ng bansa. Sama-sama nating idalangin, iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa pamimilit, pananakot, karahasan at terorismo. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa panloloko, pagsisinungaling at pagbaluktot sa katotohanan. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa panunuhol, kasakiman at sabuatan upang makapandaya. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa kawalang muwang sa panlilinlang at makitid na pananaw. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Mula sa pagbabanta, pananakot at lapastangang pananalita. Iligtas mo kami, Panginoon. Sama-sama nating idalangin, dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang aming budhi ang siyang gawing tunay na pamantayan. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang kabutihan ng nakararami ang aming pinakamataas na layunin. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang dignidad ng tao ay palagi ang igalang. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang kapuspalad at mahihina ay pagukulan ng higit na pansin. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang pangangalaga sa kalikasan ay hindi ipagwalang bahala. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang pagkakaisa ay magbigay daan sa landas ng kapayapaan at kaunlaran. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Upang ang banal na pagkatakot sa Diyos at pag-ibig sa kapwa ang maging gabay ng mga nagnanais manungkulan sa pamahalaan. Dinggin mo kami, Panginoon. Manalangin tayo. Pastol ng aming kaluluwa at tagapagligtas ng sanlibutan, ang politika ay iyong kaloob sa amin. Isang paanyaya upang maglingkod sa iba at lumago sa kabanalan. Gabayan mo ang politika sa aming bansa, katulad ng paggabay mo sa amin. Nawa ang aming politikal na pakikilahok para sa mga botante at kandidato ay magdulot ng kaluwalhatian sa iyong mahal na ngalan at matulungan din kaming yumabong sa kabutihan, ngayon at magpasawalang hanggan. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us beg God's forgiveness. Let us entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you show us the way to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you give us the consolation of the truth. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you are the resurrection and life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Be present to your family, O Lord, we pray, and graciously ensure those you have endowed with the gift, with the grace of faith, an eternal share in the resurrection of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. There broke out a severe persecution of the church in Jerusalem, and all were scattered throughout the countryside of Judea and Samaria, except the apostles. Devout men buried Stephen and made a loud lament over him. Saul, meanwhile, was trying to destroy the church entering house after house and dragging out men and women, he handed them over for imprisonment. Now those who had been scattered went about preaching the word. 
Thus Philip went down to the city of Samaria and proclaimed the Christ to them. With one accord, the crowds paid attention to what was said by Philip when they heard it and saw the signs he was doing. For unclean spirits, crying out in a loud voice, came out of many possessed people, and many paralyzed and crippled people were cured. There was great joy in that city. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Shout joyfully to God, all the earth. Sing praise to the glory of His name. Proclaim His glorious praise. Say to God, how tremendous are your deeds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all on earth worship and sing praise to you. Sing praise to your name. Come and see the works of God, his tremendous deeds among the children of Adam. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. He has changed the sea into dry land. Through the river they passed on foot. Therefore, let us rejoice in him. He rules by his might forever. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Please stand. Everyone who believes in the Son has eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day, says the Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the crowds, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will never hunger, and whoever believes in me will never thirst. But I told you that although you have seen me, you do not believe. Everything that the Father gives me will come to me, and I will not reject anyone who comes to me, because I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but the will of the one who sent me. And this is the will of the one who sent me that I should not lose anything of what he gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. For this is the will of my Father, that everyone who sees the Son and believes in him may have eternal life, and I shall raise him on the last day. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in our gospel today, we heard Jesus telling us that it is the will of the Father that no one should be lost. Jesus said, This is the will of the one who sent me, that I should not lose anything 
of what He gave me, but that I should raise it on the last day. Ang kalooban ng Ama ay wala sino man ang mawala. But looking at what happened in our first reading today, we might question these words of Jesus. In our first reading today, we heard how a severe persecution against Christians broke out in Jerusalem. And because of this, Christians were scattered to the countryside. Because of the persecution, Christians went to different places. They seemed to be lost. They seemed to be without direction. Nagkawatak-watak, nagkalayo-layo, para silang nawala. But if we look closely at what happened, when the Christians were scattered, they began proclaiming about Jesus wherever they were. And so many more came to believe in Jesus. Many more were converted to Christianity. What was thought to be an unfortunate event that they were scattered became a moment of blessing. What seemed to be an unfortunate event in the end was a blessing in disguise. And so they were not really lost. They were sent to mission. The persecution was God's way of sending them to mission. Indeed, as Jesus said, no one will be lost because that is the will of the Father. My dear brothers and sisters, hard times are the best times for Christians. Difficult times are the best times for genuine Christians to shine. Kung kailan pinahirapan ang mga Kristiyano, kung kailan sila nagkalat dahil sa pag-usig sa kanila, doon pa lalong nagningning ang Kristiyanismo. Kaya ang mga Kristiyano hindi takot sa paghihirap. Ang mga Kristiyano hindi takot usigin dahil yan pa nga ang pagkakataon para lalong tumingkad ang ating pagiging Kristiyano. My dear brothers and sisters, let us not allow difficulties, hardships, and persecutions in life to make us lose our identity as Christians. Walang dahilan sana kahit na ang mga pinagdaraanan natin sa buhay at kahit na nga ang eleksyon na ito, hindi dapat maging dahilan para mawala ang ating pagiging kristyano. Sa halip, ang mga pinagdaraanan pa nga natin sa buhay at maging ang eleksyon na ito ay maging dahilan para lalong magningning ang ating pagiging kristyano. Now more than ever, my dear brothers and sisters, we need Christians who stand up for their faith. We need Christians who stand up by their values. We need Christians who stand up for Jesus. Kailangan natin ipakita ang tunay nating pagiging Kristiyano. My dear brothers and sisters, 
at this moment of our history, may we be judged as true Christians, as Christians who truly show our faith in Jesus. Sana lalong magningning ang mga Kristiyano sa panahong ito. Sana lalong mas magningning ang mga Katoliko sa panahong ito. Let us show the world that we are true, authentic, and genuine Catholics. Please stand. Confident in the generosity of the Father who gave us His Son in the Eucharist as food for our souls, we bring before Him our needs. And for every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That church leaders may witness to Jesus, who is the bread of life, in a world which is hungry for meaning. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That government officials may be actively involved in finding solutions to the needs and concerns of our poor brothers and sisters. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who see little need for God in their lives may be drawn back to the nourishment of the Eucharist. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that we may have a peaceful, honest, and credible elections, and that we may elect leaders who uphold the values we hold dear as Christians and Filipinos. Faith in God, truthfulness, integrity, decency, and concern for the common good. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the faithful departed who ate the bread of life may live forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray in silence for our personal petitions. We pray for the people who need our prayers and for all the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, make us truly grateful for the gift of the Eucharist, which gives us hope and meaning to our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find the light in these paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, 
at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, he never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, Our Father, Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from ignorance, deceptions, lies, and from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the risen Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not, not worthy that, that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us 
may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness through Christ our Lord. Amen. We invite you to our healing rosary for the world tonight at 9 o'clock. Our host will be the St. Peter the Apostle Parish in Apalit, Pampanga. Let us gather as a community and as a family and again implore the intercession of Our Lady, Our Mother, for our families, for our country, and for the whole world. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Regina Cheni, Leitahe, Alleluia.